Welcome back, Yeshua lovers. We've got another olifant top for you here. As you can see, it's right here with a vav in front of it. And I am in Joshua chapter 4, verse 20. And our verse in English reads, And Oliphantov, those twelve stones which they took out of the Jordan, Joshua set up in Gilgal. So we have our Oliphantov with Shtemishrei, which is twelve, Ha'avanim, stones, Ha'ele, these stones. So we've got Oliphantov, which represents Yeshua, and his 12 stones. Um, I think probably some of you have been with me long enough where you know where I'm going to go with this. But uh, let's look at a verse in Matthew 21, verse 42. All right, I'm in Matthew 21, verse 42. And Yeshua said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures, the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone? This was Yehovah's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Well, Yeshua, at least four times in the New Testament, um, quotes Psalm... 118.22, which is the prophecy of Yeshua being the cornerstone. But uh, him being the cornerstone kind of insinuates that there are other stones. Now let's look at some other verses that confirm that. I'm going to go now to John 1.42. I'll meet you there. All right, I'm in John chapter 1, verse 42, and it says, And he, which was Andrew, brought him, Simon Peter, to Yeshua. Now when Yeshua looked at him, he said, You are Simon, the son of Jonah. You shall be called Cephas, which is translated a stone. So, Yeshua changes Simon Peter's name to mean a stone. And now I skipped over to Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. And this is Yeshua talking to Peter again. And he says, starting right here, And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. So he again is referring to Peter being a stone or a rock, same thing, and that he is going to build his church on Peter. And let's go to where Peter speaks of this in first peter chapter 2 verse 4 and 5 i'll meet you there all right i'm in first peter chapter 2 starting in verse 4 which says coming to him who is yeshua as to a living stone yeshua being the living stone Rejected indeed by men, but chosen by Elohim and precious. You also, as living stones, are being built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Elohim through Yeshua HaMashiach. Therefore, it is also contained in the scriptures, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he who believes on him will by no means be put to shame. So here Peter is saying that we are also to be living stones, being built up as a spiritual house. But who were the twelve stones, the original stones? 
Well, of course, the Twelve Apostles. And to f finish out this, uh, it's not a teaching, but to finish out this video, I'm going to go to Revelation 21, verse 14. Now, this is speaking of the New Jerusalem, which comes at least a thousand years later than now, after the thousand-year reign of Yeshua. And it says, Now the wall of the city, the New Jerusalem, had twelve foundations, and on them were the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And what are foundations usually made of? They're made of stone. So, our twelve stones of Yeshua are the twelve apostles of the Lamb. So, that, my friends, is our Aleph and Tav revelation for today. I appreciate you listening. And, Lahitra Oat. See you later.